Hey folks, Gwei. Recently I was on Twitter and I stumbled across a, uh, a tweet thread um, about Christian nationalism. And I was really fascinated by what the author had to offer. Um, now, of course, as you scroll down, you come across all the different responses to, to what the author is trying to say. And, and one of those responses I really, I really found fascinating. And I think it raises a really, really valuable question uh, for us today, for, for Christians today. The tweet was along the lines of, so are you telling me that we shouldn't vote according to our values? Now, I took that to mean that the, the response was claiming that the author of the original tweet was saying that Christians shouldn't vote for other Christians, that Christians shouldn't vote for people who, who exemplify Christian values. And... So I thought, let's, let's try to answer that question and maybe a little bit more. Let's reframe the question and say, who should Christians vote for? Now, depending on who your pastor is, you might hear that no proper and right Christian would vote for a Democrat. You may hear how no good and right Christian may vote for a Republican or a liberal or a conservative or a new Democratic candidate. Depending on where you are and and, and who's around you and, and how your pastor or your congregation feels about a particular politician or a particular political party, you may hear very bluntly who a Christian, a good and true Christian should vote for. I'm not going to offer that today. I certainly have my own opinions. I have my own, um, my own understandings based on my experiences and my research and based on what I see from particular politicians and political parties, but we're not going to get into that today. Instead, we're going to talk about those values. Because I believe, I, I believe that the person who is responding, I, I believe that we should, Christians should vote according to their values, just like everybody else. Right? Everybody votes for the candidate who best represents them. They vote for the candidate who they feel will best represent their values, their ideologies, their hopes and dreams in whichever parliament or government they happen to be seeking election into. We all do it. Anybody that takes it seriously. We don't vote for the candidate that, is, that looks to be the most... Uh, that would stand in opposition to what we hold true and dear. The, up, the candidate who, who would oppose the, the values that we espouse. But for Christians, I think the responsibility of discernment, I don't want to say it's even more than it is on other, other uh, voters, but it is, it's a heavy burden for a Christian. Because these people are coming to us, these people, these parties are coming to us saying, hey, we want your vote, we want you to put us in a position of power so that we can govern. Well, for the Christian, the values we're looking for are not our own. The values we're looking for in a candidate or in a party are the values that that we see exemplified in the life and the teachings and the call of Jesus Christ. The candidate, candidates, the parties who best exemplify those character traits are the ones we want to give our support to. And we're not talking about issues. We're not talking about issues. I mean, a candidate could easily come to us and say, I will vote your way on this particular issue that I know you are very passionate about. And yet, in no other way does that candidate remind us of Jesus. In no other way does that candidate look like Christ. In no other way do they behave like Christ. This isn't an issue by issue thing. This is a, this is a life thing. This is a behavioral thing. This is... Well, these are virtues that the person hopefully carries, that lives by, right? We don't want to give our vote to somebody that, you know, when times get tough, take off to some foreign country and leave us to fend for ourselves. We want somebody that's going to stick around and, 
and, and, and be there in the mud with us. You know, be shoveling snow beside us. We, we want somebody that, 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 is, that is willing to sacrifice of themselves for our betterment. Because living a sacrificial life is a key characteristic of Jesus Christ. We want somebody that, that, that walks humbly, right? That recognizes when they know something and especially when they do not and defer that to an expert. We don't want somebody making up their own facts. We don't want somebody making up their own scientific um, statistics to try to show us that they know best no matter what. We want somebody that's willing to listen to an expert. Even if it means that ex- even if what that expert is saying means that, um, well, means that their constituents that put this person into power are going to be unhappy. We want somebody that when they make a mistake or when they get caught in a mistake, they're not going to try to blame it on somebody else or, or, or try to buy the silence of, of the people around them. No, we want, we want somebody that's willing to own it. Say, yeah, mea culpa. I did that. I shouldn't have done that. That happened a long time ago, and I've learned, and these are the lessons that I've learned. But now that this is out, I'm willing to, to face the consequences of those behaviors and of those decisions. We want people who will, who will challenge us to be more loving to our neighbors, who will, who, who will challenge us to stand up and be more active in our communities without thought of reward. We want people who will challenge us to show mercy. Show mercy to people that we, name, we may feel do not deserve, does not deserve any mercy. We want a candidate that will challenge us to, to radically love not because we'll get anything out of it, but because it's the right thing to do for the citizens that we share this space with. We want to vote, Christians, want to vote for people who exemplify the characteristics of Jesus Christ. Those characteristics being the fruits of the Spirit. Those characteristics being things like love and mercy and compassion and forgiveness those things like humility, self-control, those things like inclusion, and you know, they demonstrate things like inclusion and, and, and welcome. We want to vote for people who aren't necessarily just strong with their hands and their arms, you know, physically strong. We want to vote for those people who are spiritually, emotionally. Strong. Those people who are, who are of strong, stout, loving, giving hearts. We all vote for the candidate who best exemplifies our values. For the Christians out there, adopt the values of Jesus Christ for your own and search for those values in the candidates and in the parties who are asking you to trust them to govern your land. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. May you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray that as you discern which candidates to put your support behind, I pray that you will seek first the heart of Jesus Christ. Regardless of what that candidate believes, regardless of what faith they hold, regardless of where they come from, regardless of who they love, you will seek first the heart of Jesus Christ in them. And let that, let that be your guiding star. Amen. Nemultus.